All right, guys, just got in a package from Mr. Hellstrom. I will give you one guess what country he is from. And he sent me the country lock, little suitcase lock, worked perfectly, and some beautiful earrings. Now, he said these are from for Mrs. Bosnian Bill at the next lock pickers convention, but I got to tell you, these are so nice. I, I actually have a couple piercings myself. I did it with my pocket knife. But I think these will fit perfectly. Of course, they won't be visible when I have my clothes on, but that's another story. And then this is really interesting. This is a really a piece of, let me take it out. We have the original packaging. It's got the price on there and kind of in bad shape, but the wrapper is perfect. An old telephone lock. Most of you guys probably don't remember. You think a uh, phone lock is what's on your iPhone, but uh, they used to be a, a metal rotary and that's what it looked like right there. And there was a little metal ear and that's what that thing looks like right there. And if you didn't want somebody to rotate the rotary dial, you take these little locks and you put it on the little ear. And that way you couldn't move it. Now there were ways around it. Um, everybody figured those out. But this was quite effective for a very long time. Very cool. Um, your insurance against unauthorized phone calls. Unlimited key chain. I have no idea what that means. Telephone lock. Registered. Uh, it is made in Hong Kong. It says it there and I saw it stamped on the face of that lock. There's nothing on the back of this though, but very cool. Let's see if I can do this without, this is clearly a collector's item. I don't want to destroy anything. So let's see if I can just bend these without breaking the ears off. And I'm not even gonna mess with the key. Let's just assume that it works. Let's see if I can pull that out of there without damaging anything. All right, tiny, tiny little lock. Oh, it. Tiny Yale keyway, a little tail turning off to the uh, to the left there. And let me figure out how it works. Okay, so this little thing rotates. All right, I think we can make this happen. I need a tiny, tiny tensioner. And I think this guy might work. He's too clearly too big. What are you thinking? I got one buried here somewhere. I have two ends on this guy. This is my tiny lock tensioner. It started out life as a serrated tensioner. And then I just bent the other end to something even smaller. Let's see if that'll fit. Okay. There we go. That's what I will do right. Let's do this in my hand. Just, just for the heck of it. Like that. And we need a pick. And we need probably something pretty narrow because it is a tiny keyway. So I'm going to use this little guy. This is from Multipick, and it is the Victor 31. It's part of the SS Dev selection. All the way in, moderate tension, find a pin. Maybe. I hope these aren't made by Medico. No, that was a binder. I thought I was on the warding, but that's truly a binder. There we go. Nice click. I had to lighten up on the tension there. A little click. Come on, where are you? Probably hiding behind the tensioner. Get back there. Come on. And there we go. We are making free phone calls. Anyway, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal, stay well. And Mr. Hellstrom, thank you, sir, for these. These will be the ones I'm, I wear first. Yeah, those are just super nice. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.